everyone. Welcome to the course. We are getting started today with Chapter 8, what we are calling the transportation problem, which is a particularly important and related type of linear programming problem. Transportation problem received this name because many of its applications involve determining how to optimally transport goods. However, some of its important applications actually have nothing to do with transportation. Now let's start with today's topic, the transportation problem model. Alright, for the transportation model, I'd like to show you a particular type Example, P and G campaign distribution problem. As shown in the graph, one of the company products of the company is canned peas. The peas are prepared in three canneries and then shipped to the four distribution place. The shipping cost per truckload for canary to warehouse combination is given in this table. As we can see, in the middle of this table is the unit cost. For example, this one means the unit, unit cost from canary one to warehouse two. Okay. Because the shipping costs are a major expense, managers are initiating a study by reducing them as much as possible. So let's see this table we can find all the output with some the output we can obtain 300. Also, the total needed is also some. Then this problem has this characteristic that the, out, the output or the supply is equal to the demands. The problem now is to determine which plan for assignment this shipment to the various canary warehouses combination would minimize the total shipping cost. By ignoring the graphic layout of the canary and the warehouse, we can provide network representations like this of this problem in a simple way by linking all the canaries on this way with all the warehouse in the left clan. The arrow shows the, post, the possible routes for the checkload where well, the number next to each arrow, the number to each each arrow is the shipping cost per track from the canary A, uh, C1 to warehouse 1. Uh, and here is 465. To formulate the model, we that they denote the total shipment cost. And that xij be the number of truckloads to be shipped from canary I to warehouse J. For example, x12 means the amount of truckload from canary 1 to warehouse 2. And it's similar to the other numbers. Less the objective is to choose the where the values of these eleven variables so as to 
minimize the total cost. Okay, now see the total cost is calculated like this. The amount multiplied the unit costs. Oh. The amount, the unit costs, and with some old cost. Oh. And get the objective function. And this is the model of this problem. Oh. Objective function and the constraints. Uh, the constraints is correspond to this matrix. Uh, uh, the up three means the canary constraints. Uh, we can see that, for example, the first equation it means that the output from canary 1 is shipped to warehouse 1, warehouse 2, uh, warehouse 3, and warehouse 4. The total of it is 75. So the right will give 75. Uh, so it's the constraints. Of course, we have the unnegative constraints. So, as we can see that the constraints and the objective function are all the linear function. So, we know that the transportation problem is also a linear programming problem. However, if we transform these equations into the coefficient matrix, we found that it has a particular structure. There are many one. There are one. Uh, the the coefficient is one, and oh, the empty. Zero means zero. Uh, so the constraint coefficient for P and G company is just one or zero is a special structure. It's a special structure. Uh, so it's a linear programming, but it has a more simple and particular structure. Uh, then we want to ask how to solve this problem. Of course, we can solve this problem with mathematic software such as Excel. Uh, uh, if we want to solve this problem with hand, uh, then we must analysis this structure and uh, give a simple, simplex method, which we will introduce later. Okay, that's the prototype example of transportation problem. Except for its small size, the P and G company problem faced by many corporations which must ship goods from the manufacturing plants to their customers. Numerous such transportation problems were solved in the process of identifying best new production and distribution system. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you. Thank you.